Next, let's turn to Thailand, where the Constitutional Court has dissolved the reformist political party that won last year's general election. The court ruled that the Move Forward Party's proposal to uh, reform the ban on criticism of the monarchy was tantamount to overthrowing the entire state. Move Forward holds one-third of seats in Thailand's uh, legislature, but was blocked by conservative and military-backed parties from forming a government. The party's executives have also been banned from engaging in politics for 10 years, including their leader. Let's speak to uh, Southeast Asia correspondent Jonathan Head, who's in Bangkok. Hi, Jonathan. Was this move expected? Absolutely. This is a this court has a long track record of doing this. Um, this is the most serious issue on, under which you can be charged as a party for challenging the monarchy. I mean, there's a disconnect here between large numbers of Thais who want a discussion about the monarchy or at least want the possibility of change. And they were the people who came out in huge numbers to vote for Move Forward. And it's very broad reformist agenda, by most standards, very moderate. I mean, remember, the only part of the monarchy they wanted to touch was the law that criminalizes any kind of criticism of the monarchy. And all they really wanted to do there was to make the sentences less harsh. But the, the hardliners in the court and those supporting them on the conservative and royalist side are basically saying you cannot talk about the monarchy at all. You can't even talk about changing the laws surrounding the monarchy. And this verdict clear, sends that message very clearly. It also shows that there are very severe limits to Thailand's democracy. I mean, this party won more seats and more votes than any other last year. There was a clear public swell of support behind it. And yet the establishment that backs these unelected courts and other institutions that are challenging it uh, are, are willing to see the party dissolved, in effect disenfranchising more than 14 million voters Although the MPs who, who have not been banned from politics will be allowed to reform under a new party name and continue their role in opposition in a smaller bloc, so they're not completely stopped from going forward. Uh, but it is, I think, for many Thais who believe in change, uh, a, a very serious setback, this verdict. And Jonathan, just talk to us then about the political system, about what blocs actually hold power there. Well, it's a very interesting <laughs> challenge to describe it. I mean, Thailand is on paper a constitutional monarchy. On paper, the monarch is, is, is a sim symbolic monarch, much like Britain's monarchy. And there is a parliament uh, that operates very similar to the one that you see in Britain. In practice, though, the monarchy is very wealthy. It's very powerful. It's quite unaccountable. I mean, there's a lot we don't know about it. And broadly speaking, if the palace or people around it want something, most Thais accept that that will get done, that that's where real power lies. It also lies very much with a highly politicised army, which has launched 20 coups in, the, in modern history in Thailand um, and intervened relatively recently, only 10 years ago, and ran a government for five years. That, plus uh, some very, very powerful businesses, is really where power lies. And what this verdict shows, Thais, is you can vote in elections, and Thailand has free elections and very competitive ones, but that the ultimate result, even if you get an elected government, Government, that, club, that party may not be able to form, form an administration, as in the case of Move Forward, or may even end up being banned completely, as we've seen with this verdict today. Okay, Jonathan, thanks for that.